All right. Wes was here at the bars here. So we're going along our, our, our ranks video series. And the first two were pretty easy to make. I literally made them in the parking lot outside of the building that we train in. And I just kind of ran it off head. Um, so just to kind of recap a little bit, you have Mandalore, those are your players, colored belts, then you have Takapakuro, which are your uh, your instructors, it ranks, black belt ranks one through three. And then after that, you have Gabai, which is black belt ranks four and five, depending on who you ask. If you ask me, it's ranks, it's black belts, degree four and five. Um, and I really had to think about this one. This is probably actually the third time I'm making this video because it's, it's hard to define. I don't think I've ever actually made a video. Well, maybe I have made one. Let me, let me really flip. Okay, I had to make notes for this one because there's more intangible things with the goodbye than there is with the previous two ranks. Those are all, you know, learning, learning the basic movements and then learning how to teach those basic movements back. That's basically what those are. So goodbye is more about intangible qualities. Um, so I'm just going to go right down the little list that I made. Um, First thing I look for is that, you know, he's a confident instructor. Does he know what the hell he's doing? Is he able to keep the class flowing from one thing to another? Does he notice where people need help and then address that help? Um, and is he able to build confidence in students? Uh, that, sound, that might sound kind of weird, but moving and executing the maneuvers with the movements with confidence is extremely important. Um, and a lot of people, they just don't have that confidence when they show up. And now we have ways of instilling confidence in people. I'm not going to go into that here because that's, that's a, a lot. Um, but he's able to create confident students. Okay. Second thing he does is he instructs junior black belts. Okay. So our junior black belts, we have a curriculum that we use. He helps them with the curriculum. He also helps teach them how to teach. You might be able to teach someone how to teach it in black belt. Oh, well, no, not necessarily. You have to remember your, your junior black belts, they're, they're still fairly new black belts. Not all of them get a regular opportunity to teach. There's also a learning curve. It's one thing you can do something, but trying to get someone else to do it is different. That's that's completely different. And not everybody learns the same either. You can get one guy and you show it to him and he picks it right up. Another person might have to do it, you know, 300 times before the, you know, the light bulb goes off. Um, so he does those two things. That's... Those are really kind of your instructor duties. Okay, now, now we want to go on to the more intangible qualities. And there's uh, one, two, three, four, five of them that I wrote down. There might be more about it. But uh, First thing he does is he notices problems or gaps in the art and can provide solutions to those gaps. Excuse me. So, for example... Maybe you're doing some Sinwali and he notices something or, you know, he has noticed something about that particular Sinwali. There's a problem with it. Well, when he comes in to, say, a black belt class or, or when he's training with his instructor, he can say, hey, I noticed this. I think this is a possible solution. Can we work through it? Um that's important because that's how the, that's how you improve the art and do stuff like that. Um, number four, he's capable of comparing, contrasting, and distinguishing different 
parts of the art. Now you might say, you know, with a screamer, you can say, oh, okay, well, there's stick, single stick, double stick, knife, double knife, staff, stick and, stick and knife. Um, and that's true. However, you can word those things a little bit differently. So, for stick, you have one weapon that's kind of maybe a little bit longer. Okay? Double stick. You have two weapons of equal length. You know, and, and so on, so on, and so forth. I'm not going to get into all that, but he's able to distinguish between am I using sticks or am I using some other type of dual wielding weapon that's the same length. He can he can notice that. He can also say, oh, okay, well, there's, you know, the footwork portion of it. And then there's the stick work portion of it. And he can say, oh, okay, well, this footwork works with these stick movements. How do we make a different set of stick movements that maybe doesn't work so well? How do we make those things work together? Um, so... I'm going to stop there because I could go on for a long time with that. But. Okay, number five. He's able to justify his points of view. He should be able to have a pretty good idea of what a screamer is to him. Okay, and should be able to say, well, I do things this way because of this reason. You know, he's not just doing things because, quote unquote, that's just how I do it. No, he's doing things, and he knows why he's doing things. Um, you'd be surprised how many martial artists are not capable of doing that. They just come in and say, well, yes, this is how I do it. Why do you do it that way? That's just how I do it, or that's the way we've always done it, or that's the way I've taught. So you've never, I guess what I'm trying to say is he's internalized things a little bit and made it his own to a certain extent. Okay. Um, number six, he acts as a training partner to the master. I and mean, this is probably one of the more important things that he does. He provides honest feedback. So he goes to his instructor who's going to be a master and he says, and the master says, I want to work on this today. All right. So they start working on it. You know, and they're, they're working up a storm. And then the goodbye thinks, hey, well, I don't know how this is going to fit in or what exactly he's trying to accomplish with this. He should state that. He should say, hey, how do you make, how do you plan on making this fit within what we already do? You know, he could also say, they could also be doing something. It might be horrible, you know. It's his job to say, hey, instructor. I don't think this is good. I think we need to think about this a little bit more before we continue working on it. Um, so he provides honest feedback. Hey, and then again, he acts as, as a training dummy. And, and I don't want to use the term training dummy, but it's more of a training partner. He's not like he's acting as a, a training dummy, just going up there and getting beat up. That's not the case. Uh, he acts as a training partner and uh, provides honest feedback. Okay, and finally, number seven, that was not done intentionally. There's seven things I listed, and let's see it to ha, ha, ha. Didn't do that intentionally, though. Accident as an advisor to the master, okay? The goodbye can come with him, come to him with ideas. Say, I have this idea. Can we try to implement this somehow? And then they'll maybe work it out and try to, you know, figure something out. And that just kind of leads back into it. He provides solutions, alternative solutions, and feedback to solutions that he, his instructor has. Um, I should feel that maybe that might be kind of complicated, but a master is somebody who is, uh, acts as an administrator to the kind of local area. Um, so he might notice, hey, there's 
something going on here. There's a minor issue. There's something going on. Let's let's create an administrative solution to this. Um, and he might not, you know, the, the master might not want to deal with this. So he's just saying, you know, screw him. Let's, let's do this. And like, it's the goodbye's job to say, hey, let's let's think about this and let's provide a solution. He could also, you know, the master could also just be like, I don't want to deal with that. Let's you know, have bigger fish to fry. Fix that. Um, and it would be the goodbye's job to, to do something about that. Um, so that's a goodbye. And in my opinion, other people might have a different opinion on, on what that is, but that's, that's my opinion. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's as far as I'm going to go with that.